China's goals in the field of humanoid robotics stem from the 863 program, which was started in 1986 with the goal of advancing high-tech industries in the nation. The initiative laid the groundwork for upcoming research and development expenditures in the ensuing decades, particularly in the 2000s. Let's now examine the subsequent development of robotic technology in China. The first bike-built humanoid robot in China was derided. Shang Xingji, or Forerunner, was first introduced by the National University of Defense Technology in 2000. Its main purpose at the time was to solve major robotics problems, such as dynamic walking and balancing. The humanoid robot weighed 20 kilograms and had a height of 1.4 meters. Shang Xingji was ridiculed despite being a technological marvel for China, especially in Japan. The robot received backlash in the media and online for its shoddy construction and restricted functionality when compared to robots such as Sony's Creo and Honda's Asimo. The robot was extensively parodied on the Japanese website Samurai Damashi. The parodies focused on the robot's crotch region portraying it as a weapon of war in an imaginary narrative. Even a fictionalized version of the robot might be interacted with by players in an online game. Shang Xingji contributed significantly to China's early humanoid robotics development despite the derision. It was only a hint of what was to come. In 2000, China conducted another of their pioneering experiments with humanoid robotics. The Beijing Institute unveiled BHR2 in 2005. The Virgin had better balance control and walking capabilities. Compared to its predecessor, it was capable of navigating more intricate surfaces, including uneven terrain. BHR2 was able to retain its balance and coordination, while walking, dodging obstacles, and engaging in intricate movements, like Tai Chi and dance. In 2006, the primary new robot was unveiled. Translated, it means beautiful woman robot, the robot was created by 10 experts from the Robot Research Center of the Chinese Academy of Sciences to perform a variety of tasks, including tour guide, receptionist, and even television host. The fembot took roughly a year and 300,000 yuan to construct. The group thought that mass production could drastically cut expenses. The robot, also called Rongcheng, used a camera system to see obstructions in its route and steer clear of them. It was able to move about an area on its own using sensors and visual navigation. The Sequence Science and Technology Museum displayed it. The 2007 release of the BHR-3 included a number of significant innovations, one of which was a sensor system that improved the robot's ability to perceive and interact with its surroundings. This increased the BHR-3's autonomy since, at the time, robotics and artificial intelligence were receiving more attention. China hosted the inaugural RoboCup, a renowned international robotics competition, in 2008. The Suzhou event marked a major turning point for China's expanding robotics community. RoboCup 2008 provided an international platform for showcasing the country's developing robotics and artificial intelligence capabilities. Established in 1997, RoboCup is a yearly competition that advances robotics and artificial intelligence research. By the middle of the 21st century, RoboCup hopes to have assembled a team of autonomous robot football players who will finally defeat the human World Cup champions. The Peking University of Technology created this robot. The fourth generation of powerful, human-like robots is this one. Our neighbor, the teacher, created it. It can mimic human emotions in addition to speaking with actual humans. The BHR4 was first released in 2009 by the Beijing Institute of Technology. With 46 movable joints, including 13 in the head, it was designed with a special emphasis on improving human connections. This allowed for its intricate movements and facial expressions. The robot weighed 65 kilograms and measured 1.7 meters. In order to better understand how humans interact with human-like robots, BHR4 was created to look human. Through more accurate motions and organic interactions, the robot's sophisticated sensors improved its perception of its surroundings. Compared to earlier versions, the robot exhibited a higher degree of autonomy, utilizing pre-programmed instructions and data to make decisions. BHR4 assisted Chinese researchers in achieving significant progress in creating social and service robots. When KJIA was first introduced in the early 2010s, it was well known for its capacity for decision-making and interpersonal communication. The humanoid robot was created by researchers at the University of Science and Technology of China to assist in public areas like malls. 
KJIA was an artificial intelligence that comprehended and replied to human speech. Using cameras, the robot watched and responded to changing surroundings. In 2014, the RoboCup at Home competition was won by the KJIA robot. The Beijing Institute's BHR5 marked a significant advancement in humanoid robots for China in 2011. It was renowned for its sophisticated control and manipulation. The robot demonstrated rapid reflexes, accurate movement, and instantaneous decision-making while playing table tennis. The BHR5 used its stereo vision system to track the ball's movement, project its trajectory, and coordinate its own movements. It functioned as a testing ground for intricate motor skills in robotics. China will account for one-third of all industrial robots installed globally by 2018. According to estimations made by the International Federation of Robotics, Asia started to take notice of China's robotics advancements in the 2010s. Concerns were raised in a 2016 study by the U.S.-China Economic and Security Review Commission over China's rapid advancements in AI robot technology. In comparison to other nations, China was then concentrating on developing cutting-edge robotics and AI technology for use in the military and in industry. The importance of service robots was also growing. For more realistic discussions, USTC researchers engineered her mouth to move in unison with her speech. She made a genuine eye movement as well. Gigiya had conversational skills and occasionally had amusing answers. With 36 high-performance actuators, the Walker humanoid robot, standing 1.4 meters and weighing 177 kilograms, could walk steadily and smoothly. Uneven ground could be handled by it. When it came across barriers, it automatically changed its center of gravity to stay balanced. With seven degrees of freedom, its hands interacted with moving objects with accuracy thanks to the Walker's sophisticated perception system. Walker's sophisticated machine vision allowed it to identify objects and faces. Walker was positioned by Ubetech as a service robot with natural human robot communication skills. While the Walker robot is being actively developed by the business for use in homes, its primary function is research and development. With the Cyberome, Xiaomi therefore made its debut in the humanoid robotics market in 2022. As per the multinational electronics company, the robot's sophisticated artificial intelligence can identify 45 different human emotions. The Cyberone is a dynamic human-machine interface that can recognize faces, comprehend speech, and stands about 1.8 meters and weighs 114 kilograms. The Cyberone can navigate through crowded areas like homes and offices by using its 3D vision to comprehend its environment and avoid obstructions. It moves a little more slowly than the average pedestrian, walking at a maximum speed of 3.6 kilometers per hour. It functions as an AI assistant to aid with managing domestic chores by connecting to Xiaomi smart home devices. 